Today, I am going to be going through more of your shops, reviewing them, telling you guys what you can do to improve, what you're already doing that's great, and overall just trying to help as many people improve their shop. Hi guys, my name is Phil and welcome to the Money Game YouTube channel. I make print on demand content to both motivate as well as to give you guys tips and tricks on how you can improve your print on demand shops. Nevertheless, today we've got another shop review episode. You guys submitted them, so I'm here to review. If you happen to be new to the channel and this is the first time you're seeing my face, we're currently trying to hit 10,000 subscribers before the end of 2020. So if you can hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, that would very much be appreciated you will instantly become a member of the tmg community and in the community we have people getting sales pretty much every day at this point i see sales in the comments i see sales over on the facebook group if you're not in that links are down below and with that said i won't waste too much of your time guys we'll jump straight onto the pc get to reviewing these shops i hope you do enjoy right guys i've jumped on my pc we're gonna be going through some shops as per usual for anyone who does want their shop to be featured in one of these episodes make sure to send me your shop link to my instagram so not down in the comments after the 10th episode i think i'm going to be going through some of the old shops we reviewed to see how well they're doing now because i've noticed a lot of people are now sending me messages actually saying that they're getting sales from the information that we gave in those videos just to let you guys know for anyone who is new to the channel i have a free print on demand starter guide that's linked in the description that features the information that i used to get my first few sales online However, if you are looking to make this more into a full-time thing, I have a step-by-step -step paid print-on-demand course linked down in the description that will fast-track you to print-on-demand success. Nevertheless, I'm going to jump into this video and the first shop I'm going to start with today is Flow-3. 311 flow 311 designs i mean there's a nice looking banner design very colorful it's like a rainbow slash tie-dye design i like the look of that the logo doesn't match the banner as much so they might have to change that up a little bit but so far it does catch the eye and in regards of the design i can see that they have 53 designs on this shop going through the shop there's a range of t-shirts i'm seeing phone covers tapestries some stickers a lot of things going on uh, the main thing i need to start off by saying as you guys now know at this point is that i always say for people to push to 100 designs that is the standard that is the basis once you hit 100 designs you can actually analyze to see how well you're doing and uh, you do that through google analytics you just see which designs are getting the most clicks and even if they haven't got sales you just create different versions of that design and eventually your sales will go up so it's a nice little trick for you guys to use if you don't already use it i'm not seeing many sticker packs on this shop i would recommend for you to create sticker packs i'm not sure if this design here uh, can be used as a sticker pack because it's showing on the tap right okay no so i thought these were different images that you selected the pattern option uh, to make it more of like a pattern tapestry designs but it's not that it's just one picture uh, in the future i would say if you're creating designs like this try to make sure that they don't have a background uh, then that way the customer has more of an option in regards of what color they actually want to go for as for this one they'll pretty much just have to select the black because the picture has a black background uh, going back to the shop once again like i said sticker packs are important uh, i'm seeing here you've got a lot of trend related shirts if you're not yet getting sales put stickers as your front image i'm just going to click on a random design so let's click on this rocket launch spaceship design so yeah, pretty cool looking design, uh, rocket launch, title, simple, nothing too complicated. And as we scroll through, we see space, stars, galaxy, astronaut, all the tags are in relation to space and spaceship. So that's good. In regards of the number of designs you have activated, uh, 68 products activated, you want to maximize that. You want to make sure you've got all the products that you can activate activated this will definitely help although this isn't a design that might sell fast if your shop does start getting consistent sales this is a design you might start to see selling on a range of products so make sure that you have all of your products activated so you're not missing out on any sales now moving on we have justin barav i think i've said that 
correctly i hope i have anyways and um banner straight away nice looking banner it's got like a sunset effect don't even know what you'd call this effect but it looks cool the logo unfortunately doesn't really match up with the banner so that's something i'd always say you know if you can help it definitely try to change that design wise i'm seeing 187 designs which is amazing you're even close to breaching the 200 mark i'm quickly just going to look at the favorites see how the shop's doing so you've got over a thousand favorites and anyone that i see with more than a thousand favorites i take it as they've got at least some sales if you're struggling to get more sales using google analytics just have a look at your designs to see which ones are getting the most traffic between those that are selling and those that aren't selling and create more versions of those designs the more versions you have of something that's doing well the higher chances you have to continuously keep doing well so it's just something to bear in mind looking at the shop itself i'm seeing phone cases t-shirts masks i like what you've done with your mask you've been a bit creative with the mask oh i was seeing a sticker pack funny sticker pack as well ponies which is good to say you got leggings you know you're using a variation of different things now as you're someone who's got a lot of favorites like i said i assume that you're getting sales so if you were seeing sales on masks obviously i would say to keep the mask as your front images but for other designs I would say try to implement stickers a bit more so you can leave the masks alone but for the other designs that aren't selling try to implement stickers a bit more as once again it will just help to push your shop and rank it up allowing you to get more and consistent daily sales i'm just gonna click on a random design so we'll click on this burger one here i don't know why i've clicked on the burger one just stood out to me so yeah let's click on this one cactus burger very unique design i mean they've put it on a shirt that matches with the design so you can't really say anything too bad about that once again this is something that could sell as a sticker and i'm seeing you've got no background behind the picture so also that's great you've only got this activated on 24 products though you definitely need to go into your red bubble back office and activate all the products you can for this design as you never know a random product could be the thing that starts getting you consistent sales on this design so do not miss out on those kind of opportunities tag wise i'm seeing you know cactus cacti succulent flower plants you know i mean they're tags that go with the design itself you've not overused tags you've not used too little tags so you're doing well there you just need to make sure that you're activating as many products as you can and that you're also looking into seeing which designs are doing well and creating more of them moving on to the the next shop we have Raki. We, we have Raki. Raki, I think that's how it's pronounced. So I'm seeing a very cool and calm banner. It's one of the banners that go perfect with just the normal profile picture. So she's done a good job there. She's got 153 designs, which is always great to see. She's passed that barrier of 100 designs. Uh, here we're seeing designs on a collection that says landscape. And I'm seeing t-shirt designs here. Now, I take it that you've got the optimized option here. And uh, although in some cases it might help, in regards of these designs, Designs, I would recommend for you to keep them on posters mainly because people usually buy these type of designs on things like posters so start off with those kind of products when you're using designs like this as I go through your shop I'm seeing masks masks are doing really well at the moment seeing stickers quotes always good to see quote stickers they do a lot better than people expect them to do We've got a dual sticker pack there, more sticker packs. And yeah, I mean, she's doing really well in regards to the sticker packs. This is what I like to see. These kind of shops pick up and start doing really well. Obviously, we can see she's got over a thousand favorites and it's explained because the way she is running her shop, very, very good. I mean, she's got the sticker packs there. She's using quotes. I would say for her, she needs to pay more attention on her designs, like the shirts that I spoke about earlier on. Just change these kind of things, post that will definitely help your shop out a little bit more i'm just gonna click on that design there so sunset on a beach i'm just gonna go on the additional products which she happens to have everything activated which is good to see as you can see on a poster i'll just click on it here this design would look very very nice which is why i would say make your default front image for these type of pictures posters as you will see that you start getting sales uh, as i go further down and i look at your tags you've got sunset at a beach sunset 
in the beach, sunset on the beach. You know what you're doing in terms of your tags and you're doing the right thing. So just keep doing that. As for the rest of the shop, doing very well in regards of using things like sticker packs, trying out different trends, different niches. On to the next shop, we have Day Anak 11. Now the banner itself, it looks pretty cool. It matches with her picture. Obviously you're seeing a flower here and there's greens. And then behind her in the photo, there's greens. So it all matches up, it looks great. She has 346 designs and she's uploaded these designs in a short amount of time. So that is very, very impressive. I'm seeing collections here. Always good to see collections. And in regards of her designs, she's got things like quotes, as you guys can see here. She's using masks. Masks are selling a lot. I've probably said it before in this video and I'll say it again, they're selling a lot. And she's got a variation of different products showing up as the default images. And I'm taking that she hasn't actually selected the front product image. It's just Redbubble showing what it thinks that I would be interested in, which is never really a good method to go with. Uh, anyway, she's got sticker packs. That was great to see and a variation of cool looking designs. Now, the first thing I would recommend for her is to make sure that she's using more sticker based designs, especially as she's got sticker packs, because I'm seeing she's got favorites, but not that many favorites in comparison to the amount of designs she has. So I'll take it that she needs to probably boost up her number of sales and the way she can do this very, very fast with the style of designs she has is by making most of her designs that aren't masks and putting them to sticker like designs such as this one chilling at the top. Nevertheless, I'm just going to click on this design here. Uh, that says sorry i'm late i didn't want to come uh we'll look at the title once again it just goes with the design very self-explanatory uh, she's got that activated on all of her products which is great to see anyone that does that is on the ball they're not missing out on an opportunity which is great to see tag wise late sorry i'm late i didn't want to come sorry i'm late yep she knows what she's doing in terms of the tags as well my main advice for her and her shop is to make sure that she's using more stickers as her front image. To finish us off today, we have D Sandy. And uh, on the banner it says D Sandy Design. You've got a black banner with white text and then a pink logo with a black design. You might just want those two to match. So you could either go black and white or black and pink. I'd say pick one. You're not too far away from 100, but I'll definitely say aim and push as hard as you can to get your first 100 designs. I'm not seeing many sticker related designs. Oh, there's a sticker. Uh, you've got a greetings card, it's good to see. And I'm not seeing many sticker packs or things like that. Now, in regards of your design style that you've gone with, I would recommend for you to put posters as your front images as posters will probably increase your chances of getting sales with the kind of designs that you're posting. Try to create designs that can be put into sticker packs as well as sticker packs I always say are the easiest way to get your shops to start getting sales, especially if you're keeping up with trends and especially if you're looking into the quote side of things as well. I'm just going to click on a random design. So it's a neon <laughs> peace sign pillow. Uh, so yeah, it looks pretty cool on the pillow. Uh, title wise, neon peace, self-explanatory, activated on every single thing it could be activated on. And, uh, product tags neon neon peace peace love life nature happiness oh do you know what you've gone in with the tags the tags go with the design which is great to see the main things i would advise for you to do in regards of your shop is to make sure that firstly you hit that 100 design mark you implement a lot more posters into your shops posters look like they'll be a game changer for you and try to also implement sticker packs as they'll help you get those extra sales which will eventually get you to a point where you're seeing daily sales nevertheless we're going to leave it there for today i'm going to jump back to my camera and we'll finish off there Woo! If you made it to the end of the video thank you very much for stopping by thank you very much for actually taking some time out to watch this video if you want your shops to be reviewed best place to submit them is through my instagram so if you head over to my instagram you drop a follow you drop me a message your shop could potentially end up in a future episode however if you're someone who's looking to get an instant review i do coaching calls as well so if that's something you'd be interested in it's down in the description as well nevertheless that is it from me today if you made it to this point of the video 
down in the comment section just comment more reviews if you guys want more i will make more always remember everything is rigged in your favor and manifest success <laughs>